Hi, I'm Clyde Bunyan, and I'm here today with Deborah McAuliffe Center from Allied Arts, and we're going to talk about uh, Allied Arts wrapping up its uh, capital campaign, which uh, wraps up this weekend, right? That's right. We we launched in January with a goal to raise 3.4 million, and so we are still headed on that path. And just here at the end, needing a little more help. We're just short of our goal. Uh, by 230,000, so we're really needing people to be aware of, of the need and certainly the great things that Allied Arts does in the community. Tell us a little bit about some of the things Allied Arts does. All right, well, uh, last year we helped 43 different arts and cultural organizations. It could be anything from their operations dollars or programs that they are doing, and also just helping to make sure that the arts are accessible to all because we want everyone to be able to have that experience. So that's certainly one of our big goals and, and missions is to make sure that everyone has access to the arts. So when you make a gift to Allied Arts, you may be making sure that uh, a classroom of kids has their first experience at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, or they may be hearing their first Oklahoma City Philharmonic concert. So those firsts are very, very powerful. I, I do have to say it's one of the favorite parts of my day when we go through the mail and we see a letter from some child that said, thank you so much for making it possible for my school to you know, have this experience, whether it was lyric or whatever, but um, that certainly is important in, in what we do uh, to expose as many children as possible so that they have that experience. I thought it was really impressive to know that last year alone, uh, more than half a million kids had an art experience, but disadvantaged kids particularly. That's um, right. And so it's programs like these that you guys offer uh, with 500,000 arts experiences last year. We were very thrilled with that. And of course, we want to we want to do more. I think that's one area that may be in, in danger this year as we're coming up short. So we want to make sure that we do everything possible these this last week uh, to make sure that we reach the goal. Tell us if you, a little spe specifically um, some of the things that um, may be scheduled this year that would not have been able to uh, be scheduled if uh, they didn't have uh, funding from Allied Arts? Well, really it impacts all of our arts organizations. If you think of anywhere that you might pay a normal ticket price, that ticket price is only a fraction of what it costs that particular arts organization to you know, put on a program or put on a, a play or bring in a special exhibit. So we need, um, it, it takes all of us to uh, come and make the difference of that. I would say that ticket prices are, it normally only covers anywhere from 35 to maybe 40 percent of what it actually costs that organization to bring the entertainment to you. A huge part of the, the big attraction or the big appeal for major cities is the fact that they have a very vibrant arts community. Um, people love to go visit those places because of what they can see, the experiences they can have in the arts community. Uh, remind our viewers about what, why Oklahoma City, our city, needs um, that kind of experience as well. We have seen such a transformation, especially in this last decade, where our arts and cultural have been so dynamic and so wonderful that um, we are able to say, you know, that it's attracting business, it's attracting uh, and retaining some of our younger people that they, they want to stay in Oklahoma because now it's kind of the hip and cool place to be. Right. And I don't know that we could have said that even 10 years ago. So I was just sharing with you how the entire, the entire summer is full of activities for all age groups and some of the ones coming right up our Red, Red Earth Festival, which that's a very unique and wonderful cultural experience. If you've never experienced it, you need to. Uh, we also have uh, the Dead Center Film Festival, which has been rated one of the top 10 film festivals in the world. And so that's gaining quite a bit of attention. Uh, not, just, not just those big exhibits and festivals that are going on, but all of our arts organizations have fantastic summer camps that are going on, that kids can have an experience that they may never have dreamed of before. Um, and then some of when you're talking about some of the underprivileged that we touch, uh, let's say that a bus may go to a city rescue mission and get the kids there and let them go to children's theater for a summer camp experience. So we do want to reach out to underprivileged every opportunity that we have. Several of our groups have programs that they um, 
partner with Boys and Girls Club, uh, several of our groups, they will partner with Big Brothers, Big Sisters to bring arts experiences to okay. those. So the city card is a favorite of mine. So tell us all the benefits that you can get with that. Well, and the city card is a favorite of mine as well. The city card is the entertainment year-round discount card, so you can enjoy at over 400 different locations, and that's restaurant, retail, and of course, all of our arts venues. So, for instance, Dead Center, you could buy one all access pass and get one free and so you are making your money back on the city card just with that one purchase but there's also retail areas uh, and restaurants where you can go and save big and make an impact by just making that fifty dollar donation someone wanted to donate how can they donate or contribute to the campaign well very easily they can go to alliedartsokc.com they can also call us at 278-8944 and make a donation over the phone, make a pledge over the phone, or as I said, probably the easiest way is to go online at alliedartsokc.com. And at this point in time, we need the art angels to come in. Uh, <laughs> so large donations, small donations. But I was even sharing with someone the other day, uh, even the price of a normal Starbucks coffee drink is about $5. Well, would you believe that $5 donated can buy 10 music lessons for an underprivileged student at the Granville School of Music. So that's that's what it costs, is 50 cents per lesson. So if everybody just did without a Starbucks one day, you could help pay for 10 music lessons. Or you could, with $25, send five people to one of those arts experiences we were talking about. $250 could help pay for an entire semester for a student in one of our programs. So uh, big and small, it will take all of them for us to come together to make this goal this week. The Allied Arts annual campaign wraps up this Sunday, but they'll take your money anytime during the year, right? That's right. We, we are there year round, so. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in and joining us. Clyde, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.